looking for an anime that'll make you feel for compelling characters and an engrossing story that may or may not make you shed a tear, then look no further as this in-depth list will inform you on my favourite drama and romance anime that you may like all spread throughout five parts. So subscribe to keep up to date with all those upcoming parts and like to spread the awareness of some of these awesome anime. Enjoy. When it came to putting 5cm per second onto this list, I was particularly lost and remembering anything else besides the concept of it all. Therefore, the placing of the anime just shows how memorable I found it. Nevertheless, though, it's definitely a fantastic film. The story is based on two close friends who try to keep their relationship going once the girl Akari moves further away to another region in Japan. The film itself takes you on a journey of how their love is slowly tearing apart as the two move further and further away. The film underlying themes were integrated very nicely into the film about growing up and letting go of an unreachable past and taking control of your life, which is heavily symbolised right at the very end with what the characters decide on doing. As an overall, I felt that the pacing was too fast for my liking as a romantic slice of life drama where the genre itself specialises most in having compelling characters, which I couldn't really feel anything for in the film as the progression in itself felt too rushed in order to meet the constraints of time, which made the film in its own way its worst anime in that sense. Overall, if you are looking for a coming of age story based on romance, then this film does achieve it, but doesn't really leave you with a great aftertaste whatsoever, but still a decent watch. I can imagine most of you are thinking why are you recommending me a harem? Well, I'm actually not here. Although True Tears exterior the show looks like a love triangle harem, the show most definitely steers away from that in a good way, where it isn't really cliche whatsoever. The story starts with a light-hearted explanation of the relationship of our main guy Shin has with the three heroines of the series. Isirugi, the new girl, Aika, the ramen girl, trying to push things further than the friend zone, good luck with that, and Hiromi, the mysterious, quite reserved girl that's living with Shin, whom Shin has his eyes set out for out of the three. Each girl's relationship with him is very distinctively different from the other, and as the series progresses, things do slightly go out of hand with these relationships, with one or two collisions between Isirugi and Hiromi. As an overall, the show was pretty good, and didn't rely on many cliches or archetypes to keeping things a little original at that, but at most times, it does feel kind of slow and repetitive once you've adapted to how things naturally work in this anime, but nonetheless, you could do worse than true tears. The premise here starts off at love at first sight, as meanwhile as Usa finds out he's about to live with a bunch of weirdos at this complex, he didn't want to settle for the same surrounding he had at middle school. His mind comes to a sudden change as soon as his eyes logged on to Kawaii Senpai. I can already imagine most of you are making assumptions that this rom-com will already follow the traditional routes where the main guy will make small gradual baby steps into accomplishing a relationship with his crush, with no closure at the end. You are precisely bang on if you guessed that at the get-go, but this isn't really what sold this show for me, or for anyone for that matter, in my opinion. It was the lovable side characters for me that made this 12 episode series a roller coaster to enjoy. We have a sexy office worker whose relationships go on and off like every film in Naruto, a perverted masochist and a very attractive college student who is nothing but pure evil. All in all, if you are looking for an innocent romantic show with attention to side characters and some fun that you can't go wrong with Bokuro Omi no Kawaii, so. The Garden of Words is one of the few anime films that is truly one of the best examples that set the standard for animation at an unreachable level. The story itself does manage to live up to the expectations to an extent, and is held back primarily due to the time constraints keeping the film on a leash of about 45 minutes. The plot here is about a high school guy who looks half his age in all honesty, who aspires to become a shoemaker. We then have the heroine, Yukari, an attractive 27 year old who has a tendency to skip work whilst binging on chocolates and beer, increasing her chances of obesity diabetes and liver disease. Did this need to be said? No. Not really. So these two essentially start to gradually feel affectionate towards each other after their rendezvous that you continue to have at this Japanese style garden, under the circumstance that it rains. The film was pretty mediocre in my opinion and didn't really tug on any of my heartstrings whatsoever, nor did it make me feel deeply invested in for the characters, but it was nonetheless still an enjoyable watch, even more so with the stunning visuals. This of course is the definitive example of playing it safe with overused archetypes to create a fun entertaining romantic 
comedy. The premise we have here is that Raku made a promise with some girl 10 or so years ago to get married once they reunite. Since then, Raku has held even more tightly to his big ass pendant that could honestly perhaps one day stab himself in his sleep if he wears his bling to sleep. So, a quick jump to the present and Raku is thrown into a situation where he must fake a relationship with the same girl that introduced Raku with a foot to the face at first sight. As for the rest of the story, you get more and more girls thrown into this harem with a few surprises thrown in to shake up the plot and mystery further to who this mystery girl is that Raku made the promise with. So, I highly suggest Nisukoi, particularly if you're looking to unwind with some fun entertainment between how these very different people interact with one and the other, particularly when it comes with Raku. Then, you can't go wrong with the fun ride that Nisukoi delivers and also Hashtag Team Kurosaki for the win, if you get what I'm saying, people. I hope you all enjoyed and found something to watch from this part. If not, fear not, because you can subscribe to get notified when the next part will arrive, or click here to get to the next one, if they are available at the time you are watching this part. So please drop a like, and I'll speak to you all in the next video. Later, people.